Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio. EB Radio. EB Radio. Your station for empowerment presents Mom Boss Talk Radio, a show that brings real life, real moms, and real experiences to empower mom bosses everywhere to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Mom Boss Talk Radio begins now. Now. Welcome back, mom bosses all over the world. Welcome to Mom Boss Talk Radio. We are so excited that you are joining us this evening. This show is three mom bosses bringing you real life, real experiences to empower you as a mom boss. And I am one of your hosts, Jerisha, and I am joined by my two amazing co-hosts, Kiana and Monietta. And today, hey. today, y'all. This way, yes. Today, yes, we got something for y'all. Yes, ladies. Okay, are you ready? Now, I've been thinking about time management. Thinking about okay, the new year is coming. Um, these past couple years has been really strenuous, and you know, just kind of thinking about how our time management is going to shift from the past couple years to the upcoming year because, you know, everybody's kind of getting back into the swing of things, doing things, going out. So I'm trying to see, like, how are your your time, you know, trying to figure out, you know, the motions of your life, you know, moving forward. How is it, you know, how is it going to be now that we're going to be going out into the world a little more? So with me, I'm kind of thinking, like, the past couple years, um, I've kind of been kind of lacking a little bit. So I'm like, I need more structure. I'm trying to re, you know, reinvent my time, <laughs> reinvent my time with 2022, trying to put things back together. So ladies, like how, how are things going to be working for your households, your businesses? Come on, give it to us now. Yeah, well, yeah. I have to say, oh, go ahead, Jerisha. No, you go first because <laughs> I was just gonna say for me here these last couple weeks have been so all over the place. I feel like every month we've had a you know, this last quarter we've had some type of holiday, you know, that's mm-hmm. kind of interrupted my regular flow, you know, kids being on vacation, you know, and having to adjust my schedules. So, you know, this is perfect because, you know, here they're getting ready to go back to school. Like you said, it's going to, it's about to be a whole new month, whole new year. And, mm-hmm. you know, where does my time need to go? You know, where do I need, what do I need to do to use my time more efficiently? Because I can honestly say, you know, these last three months, I feel like I've been all over the place. Just, you know, even today, you know, just recognizing that it's the end of the year, you know, the last week, and just trying to really prepare myself, kind of going back to the basics and, you know, going starting with the the simple things, you know, utilizing my planner, taking advantage of all this technology that's on my phone as far as reminders, you know, and things like that to help me to be more efficient. Um, That's been my biggest takeaway, you know, as far as thinking ahead going into the new year on how to best, you know, use my time. But what were you going to say, Jerisha? So I – Y'all know sometimes I have a tendency, and sometimes well, I feel like I'm extra because I love planning, organizing, <laughs> and so time to me, time management is so very important, and especially at this time of the year when we're all reflecting, and as you both said, that we're getting ready to jump right into 2022, right? And so what that looks like to me and what I have been doing Um, as far as just how I manage my time with being a mom, with running a business, with just everything that comes along with it. And y'all know what that means, everything that comes along with it. I have utilized time blocking. And this has been something that's really helped me. And I know um, it was mentioned already about planners. And Mm -hmm. so I'm all about the planners and, you know, what that looks like. Um, but I have utilized planners and not just the planners, 
but also um, the uh, like my calendar. So as we have a Google Calendar, um, of course I use like the Office 365. But I I have utilized those calendars and planning and time blocking on both. You know whether it's on my planner, so my hard copy planner, or whether it's um, on my actual calendar. Um, Again, I just think that it's so important for us to have something in place because at the end of the day, um, time is one of those things that's so important and so precious. I feel like it should be precious to each and every one of us because of the fact that we can't get that time back. And so it's yeah. so important for us to have it planned out, for us to have it, um, have a schedule, I guess, if you will, something in place, um, even for, you know, for business, for so for everything. So I'll tell you both that. I have always utilized some kind of system, some kind of process when it comes down to how I manage my time. And so I mentioned like the time blocking, um, which is really basically just blocking out um, appointments, blocking out specific time for myself. Um, And then also we have to be able to set those clear boundaries when we block out things as well. And, Mm -hmm. And so that has looked like so many different things, whether it's devoting time for you know, the kids, the voting time for, you know, my husband and I, um, and family time, and just, you know, all of that, and then specific things that is for business. Um, I don't know if we talked yeah. about on the show before about, like, the business themes and all of that. And to me, all of that works hand in hand, especially yeah. now, even though we have holidays and there's so much. And um, it's so funny because I had a conversation with someone, I think it was last week, and um, and we were talking about, you know, during this time where kids are off from school and is that a time where we're taking, you know, if you will, like a vacay, um, is that a time where we're taking vacation and break away from business? And I'm like, well, no, yeah. <laughs> it's not for yeah. me. I'm not. <laughs> you know, there's things that I'm working on to prepare for next year. So I'm really Mm -hmm. excited that we're having this conversation because I think it's so helpful for us to talk about it as well as um, just sharing some of those, maybe those time management hacks and some tips and some of the things that we utilize that can really help some of the other mom bosses all over the world. So um, as I mentioned, I would probably say my go-to is really time blocking. I have some other tools that I utilize as well. So um, that I'm happy to share, um, you know, later on in the conversation. But um, what about you two ladies? Have you tried time blocking? Like how has that, you know, worked for you or, you know, what are, what are your thoughts about time blocking? Well, with time blocking, I think I'm still kind of learning time blocking. Um mm-hmm. Because, cause like, for me, it's like when I try to set time aside for things, like, for instance, like, I was trying to create content to put out, so I kind of put, like, some time into doing that. After I did that, I was tired, okay? Look, let me tell you, I was tired. And so the rest of my time is, like, <laughs> I just had to refocus, like, I'm about to lay down because I'm tired. So. <laughs> time blocking, <laughs> time blocking, you know, I have to really, really figure that out for my life and my mm-hmm. physical health and my mental health because I think with the world that's moving so fast, as a fast-paced mm-hmm. world, it's kind of like I think my mind is also on that track, so I have to figure out how mm-hmm. to slow myself down to incorporate time blocking properly because, you know, you see so, you see things so fast and you're wanting to put that stuff out there just as fast as, you know, society is putting things out there. And I'm kind of learning like, no, you have to do it on your time. And even if your time blocking is like, do a little rest, (laughs) do a little rest. I think that will work for me. So I'm still in the process of learning because I be, I get, I get, I get tired. (laughs) I understand. I do. I just wanted to say as far as in regards to what you things that you both mentioned, um, Jerisha, I think it's really important uh, what I heard you say as far as setting boundaries. Um, mm-hmm. I know for myself a lot of times when I'm trying to, when I've tried setting that up in the past, 
um, you know, we all have life issues that come up. And so sometimes, you know, when things take me away from what I'm supposed to be doing or I allow certain situations to take me away or distract me in that moment, you know, how important it is to one, like Monietta said, you know, regardless if you're getting tired, you know, it's an emergency with the kids, mm-hmm. you know, whatever that situation may be, for one, putting a boundary on and, and really asking yourself, is this something that has to be done? And, you know, what's more important in the moment? Is that something that can really wait because I've scheduled this time to do this? But, you know, mm-hmm. in regards to what Monietta was saying and, in, in, you know, having to take breaks sometimes, yes, sometimes it can just be a, a mental thing, you know, you've mentally exhausted yourself in that topic or that certain situation and you need to be okay if you need to take that break you know to reset yourself and you know go back at it again you know but you know to always at least give yourself for making the attempt for getting done what you can and you know again don't forget about it and go back to it to complete the project or whatever you had scheduled for that so I think those were two very important things that both of you um, brought up and that I heard and could relate to because you know again it, you ha- on a mental and physical level you have to be mindful of yourself and how your body feels and what it's telling you because you know if if you're not okay, then you know other things become start to become not okay. You know, so yeah, I think and too, yeah, and I think too with I think with the whole mental the whole mental part of it, you know, especially if you're in a business and you're doing it by yourself and you're trying to yeah. time block and then you have so many other um, you know obligations, you know, it it can be very tired it can be very overwhelming um so then you mm-hmm. think that you know what you're doing isn't good enough and are you going to even finish it because you're trying to balance so many things and i think that's where me you know learning to figure out what's appropriate at that time what can be pushed back or you know what projects need to you know kind of refocus and, re- and prioritize what comes first so this is completely you know new to me and for the audience you know you're seeing different you know levels of time management um you know from you know having things organized and still and then from someone like me still trying to figure it out so it is a process so i don't you know i want everyone who's listening to know that it's you can start it but you have to tailor it to yourself and what your your household needs at the time you see what i'm saying so that's that's where i'm coming from also too i think my question was as far as like when i mentioned the world moving so fast you know how Mm -hmm. you know for for you ladies i think who's a little more ahead of me when it comes to time management (laughs) (laughs) you know how did how did you guys you know tackle a fast-moving world and tailor your time to that if that if that makes any sense <laughs> it does it does I think it makes perfect sense because you know I think that you both were I mean brought up some really important you know points and one being there's always something going on so you know with mm-hmm. me and mom and having children and just having just so much happening where we are constantly having just everything on our plate and mm-hmm. one of the things I think is really important to mention is the fact that prioritizing. I think that is so important because the fact that we have so much on our plate, we have so many, you know, tasks on our to-do list. There's only so much that we can do within a day, within a time frame. And I think yeah. that's where, even from when I first started, you know, with, um, you know, my business and even prior to that, which is how I can manage my time effectively, um, I realized, okay, I have all these things I have to do. What is a system that I can put in place in order for me to feel like I'm effective, I'm productive each day? Yes, we have tons of things on our list. Um, And one of the things that I have done just over the years is making sure, one, as you mentioned, looking at um, what's the priority. So what are the top three things I need to get done today? 
you know, that's non-negotiable. Like these three things have to be done today before, you know, and, and it's, I shouldn't say before, but, it, and I was going to say before I lay my head down at night, so before I get into bed at night. But um, so, but those three things are non-negotiable things. And so that's what I have done. I write them down, whether it's a part of my planner, um, and then also going back to the time blocking things and just making sure. So say if it's a day that is, um, you know, that I'm going to focus on content, the hours that I have blocked, and it's not necessarily, I'm not going to say it's like a whole day. So it's not going to be like an eight-hour block. It'll be like a couple of hours that I can, you know, work on um, content. And then I am just working on that one thing. And I think that's important to mention too because we have a tendency to feel like we can always multitask on all of, you know, on everything. Oh, I can do this and I can do yeah. that. And I say that mm-hmm. we can't, but when we sit down to time block and work on something, that's where the cell phones get, you know, turned off or, you know, whatever you need to do, shut down things so you're not having distractions so that you can focus on that specific thing during that specific time. And maybe, it, you know, maybe we need to set shorter blocks. So it doesn't have to be, you know, like I mentioned, it doesn't have to be four-hour, eight-hour time block. It could be a two-hour. It could be an hour time block of just working on one specific thing that you need to get done. And so that's yeah. some of the things that I have, um, that I have done. Um, I, I definitely, you know, there's so many different things as far as, you know, just tips and tools <laughs> that we can mention. But I will mention a few that I feel like is really important that has helped me. Um, one, as you mentioned, is making sure we, pr- we are prioritizing our tasks every single day. I generally will plan my day um, the day before and even planning the week on Sunday. So looking at, you know, what my schedule looks like for the next day, um, the night before, and just making sure I know, you know, what things I need to do. And then the first part of the morning is spent with me saying, okay, these are the things that I have to do today. Um, generally, I already have blocks put on my calendar for specific things. And as you mentioned, yes, there are times when we have to shift, when we have to move different things, but that doesn't mean that that just goes away completely. That just goes to, a, it just gets moved to another time. And one yeah. of the things, too, I will say that has helped me is scheduling everything. So everything, you know, whether it's not just appointments, but meetings, uh, self-care, mm-hmm you know, family meetings, whatever it may be, everything goes on a calendar, goes on the schedule, and we have to even you when we have those things that come up, we have to treat them as though they're super important like any other meeting. And um, so that's another thing that's really helped me um, as well. And then developing a routine. So um, I don't know that we've really talked a lot about routines on the show, but um, – having a routine will help you with your time management. Um, it has helped me with having a morning routine, with having an evening routine, you know, a business routine, social media, what, whatever it may, may be. I feel like you can't have too many routines where you write down the specific things that you need to do that happens a part of your social media or, you know, your content, um, your routine yeah. for your morning and all of that. So, um, those are some things that's really helped me, and even early on when I first, you know, started on this whole, I want to manage my time more effectively. Those are some things that um, I definitely feel like has been a game changer um, for me. And of course, we have the tools that we can utilize too. And I'll mention that before we close out today. But um, that that definitely has what has helped me over over the yeah. years. And I would like to just kind of say too, as far as like routines go. Um, Sometimes your routine that you have is not doing you justice. You may have to change right. up your routine to be able mm-hmm. to, you know, get the most out of your day because I know my routine is not the healthiest routine, and I'm trying to shift that. So because you kind of fall into a routine not knowing you're falling into a routine. Yeah, <laughs> so right. it's yeah. like you wake up, you know, like for me, like, I want to be able to, you know, wake up earlier and make me a smoothie before I go to work, but my body's like, no, ma'am. So <laughs> so I'm trying to, me and my body are trying to have, like, long discussions of what I really want to do with my life. So, um, so with the routines, I completely under- understand that. 
I'm trying to shift that so that way I can better manage my time. So these are great tips, okay? Everybody who's listening, I hope you're writing this down because these are amazing tips, and I'm already writing them down myself. So, yeah. <laughs> but one thing I wanted to uh, throw in there um, and to answer your question, Moneta, I think the biggest thing was, you know, as you mentioned, you know, things have been – just in our individual lives, but for the whole world, these last, mm-hmm. what is it been? It's been two years now. And, mm-hmm. you know, as far as my biggest takeaway has been, you know, really not keeping up with what everybody else is doing. You know, I, I mm-hmm. have my individual life and I have to do what's best for me, you know, in the, during this pandemic, you know, for my family, for my individual self, my business. So, you know, I definitely haven't been putting that pressure on myself to, you know, say, oh, I have to do X, Y, and Z because this is what everyone else is doing or this is what's expected of me. You know, I have to do what's best for my family on my time, you know, the way I I can get that project or, you know, whatever it is I'm trying to do done. You know, just staying in my own lane and staying focused on my vision, my goal, and what it is I, I want to do for myself. And so I think that's been the biggest thing for myself to just stay sane and, yeah. you know, all this craziness that we've, like I said, all been experiencing on multiple levels. That's good. That's good. I like that. I really like where you said we need to stay in our own lane. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's so important. Um, I actually think we've talked about that on the show before. I think that is so mm-hmm. important yes. too because we have a tendency to look at other people and say, you know what, this is what they're doing. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't get tips and, you know, uh, try different things because I definitely feel like when it comes down to managing our time, it's not like a one-size-fits-all type thing. Yeah, we have, like, the, mm-hmm. the basic, like, what we should be doing. But as far as there's so many different resources, so many different tools that we can utilize to help us manage our time effectively, it's just a matter of, a matter of us trying those tools. And I would honestly say that if you find yourself in, you know, any kind of, um, you know, just moment where you feel like I need to, I need to be doing better, and I feel like at the end of the year, going into the beginning of the year, that's when a lot of us have those moments um, where we're like, you know what, I need to do better with this, then Mm -hmm. that is your perfect opportunity and your perfect time to start doing better for yourself. If you know that you have distractions and if you get easily distracted and you are a procrastinator and all of that, then recognizing that and then making some kind of change, taking some kind of action step in order to improve that with yourself. And it doesn't have to be something huge. It can be just baby steps, you know, that we just need to take. So I think that's just so important. You know, like I said, I really like talking about time management because I think it's so important and so relevant with everything that's going on right now um, at the end of the year and as we just get ready for 2022, all of us want to do better with managing our time. I think this is across the board. It doesn't matter if you're a mom, if you're a dad, if you you know, have your own business, if you work in the corporate world, everybody wants to manage their time more effectively. And, um, and so I, just, I think that we brought up some really great points, um, you know, tonight. And I, I know that there are so many more. I do want to, before we close out, mention some tools. Um, that I utilize, so some different apps. And if you ladies have any any tips, any tools, you know, anything that you utilize, you know, I know we mentioned planners, but um, if you have anything that you want to mention as well, please uh, chime in. Yeah. I think for me I am just using the basic calendar and just writing information down. So that's kind of how I'm kind of – I'm utilizing my calendar a little bit more. Um, Mm -hmm. So, you know, with the whole time blocking, trying to, you know, schedule things per time and trying to figure that whole thing out. I think what you have on your phone, if you're unable to get other resources, you know, your calendar will work. Um, But if you have, you know, when the ladies provide other resources, you should definitely try those out too. Kiana? 
Um, pretty much what you just said, you know, just really getting back in my planners, um, more writing stuff down. I, I love that, you know, now that I'm using my Google calendar, you know, the alerts, that's always helpful, um, you know, to just set that reminder for myself, even though I have it in my physical calendar, you know, when I'm on the go, that's been a great tool for me. Absolutely. Yes, I love it. I love it. So some of the tools that I will mention um, that, you know, you can utilize, that I've utilized as well, and maybe another show we can actually go into, you know, each of these tools a little bit deeper. But um, I've utilized Trello, and Trello is all about planning and organizing. Um, If you don't utilize a timer, so a timer like on your phone, Um, You know, sometimes I think you can even get it on your computer where you time, like if you have a specific time that you want to get something done in. um, I would even ask Alexa sometimes, like, hey, Alexa, set the timer for 30 minutes and then work on whatever kind of task for 30 minutes so that I don't get, you know, too far ahead of myself. Most of the time I do this with my emails because you know how how we have a tendency to hop into emails and then we get lost. (laughs) So, Or it could be social media where you get lost too. And so um, I will normally utilize some kind of timer where, you know, I'll just set the timer again. You can tell, you can set it on your phone. You can set it um, as if you have an Alexa, ask Alexa to set the timer. And that has been an absolute game changer because, again, when the timer goes off, it's like, okay, it's, I'm, it's time for me to, you know, switch gears and do something else, either take a break or do something else. And so um, I mentioned Trello. Evernote is a really good one, too, that I utilize just to help. Um, not necessarily from a time management standpoint, but I guess it could be because it's for notes, for files, it's for documents. Um, And then Todoist is another one to help you just keep track of all of your to-do list. And um, I'm Mm -hmm. utilizing ClickUp now, and ClickUp is pretty amazing, and um, it's actually a little bit more amazing than Trello. (laughs) And, again, we'll talk (laughs) about that another show. Um, (laughs) But all of those, you know, all of those tips, all of those tools and resources can help you. I think, you know, this really has to be said because now there's no excuse for us not being able to manage our time more effectively. There's no excuse if you're, you know, have all these distractions and, you know, you feel like you could just never get things done. There are so many tools, so many resources out there to help you. Sometimes it just means we have to step away from, you know, Netflix and watching TV and binge watching to actually focus on the things that we need to do. Now, I get it. I know there are times when we want to sit down, binge watch, relax, rest. That is a matter of, again, block time out for it. And don't overdo it. Don't over, you know, exert yourself. Don't overdo it. Um, But so those are some tips, some tools. Um, as we say it, we definitely just, as mom bosses, we know that we are all um, just so busy, busy, busy. However, we have to make time for the things that are really important to us, and that means being able to prioritize and looking at some of those resources, planners and, and apps and, and all of that. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed tonight's uh, show. We're so glad that you tuned in. As you know, we are Mom Bosses on a mission to empower moms all over the world. Mom Bosses, remember to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless because you are making moves and we're all making moves getting ready for 2022. So you got this. Until next time, be blessed and have a great evening. Thank you for joining us on Mom Boss Talk Radio. Follow each of the Mom Bosses on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love Mom Boss Radio, visit the website at www.envisionedbroadcasting.com. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes. Until next time.